next is from. Uh, so make, make sure you suspend that guy too, John. Mm. Uh, next Corey is Springer. Forrester Grillo. And the subject is Marks. I'm sure you guys have, have all seen it by now. By now, but for those who haven't, last week a video was going around of Ray Mysterio more or less being stalked and harassed by a group of marks in an airport. And then when he dared to do something evil, like catch his flight so that he can go wrestle. What a right? So the marks then made a video about how Ray Mysterio doesn't care about his fans. Uh, five fat. The question I have for you guys is Have you ever had to deal with something like this? What do you think about Ray's reaction to them? And have you ever smacked a fan for crossing line? Uh, more Conan's dogs, less Billy. Right, whatever. <laughs> what about uh um do you see that video, Conan? No. Joe, try to pull that up. Yeah. Bro, it's like these these fans, you know, like when when you uh come to the airport Bro, it's happened to all of us. It's happened to all of us. But these guys like got it came up on him and they all had like just a montage of like like a a, a gimmick table worth of stuff for him to sign. And he was like, dude, you, you know, <laughs> it's like they're being kind of very, very pushy, you know? You got you got the video, Joe? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but it happens to everybody. But like some of the fans are too. Uh, they're, they're just brutal, you know. I mean, seriously. I mean, I don't know how to. You know, Jackie was cool because he was like friendly with us and come to the bar and you know. But like some of these other ones are just. I don't know what they're thinking. You know, I don't know. Uh, they just think I'm a fan. You're a wrestler. You got to do what I want or what I say, right. or I'm going to bury you, especially now in this day. But what's weird to me is if you're asking for Ray Mysterio's autograph and there's five of you i'm assuming you guys have been following him for a long time and you can tell just by his interviews like you know not the ones in the ring but outside of the ring that he's the the coolest guy you're ever going to meet that's why to me when i read people talking bad about ray and i've read a lot i'm like what a bunch of this is the coolest guy you could ever 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 meet with the biggest heart and you're bearing him you're a let me tell you this too there's there's the, there's two diff there's a difference okay there is autograph seekers and then there's professional autograph seekers a professional autograph seeker will like if you're coming to town they say hey would you mind coming to my hotel room and signing some stuff <clears throat> I'll give you this much money okay and then there's the unprofessional autograph seekers that just could get right up on you and they want you to sign a stack of stuff right and nothing, they might be you know? and they might be selling so, it and you're not even getting a cut right so the thing okay. If we're not nice to the unprofessional autograph seekers, dude, my, my advice to you, become professional. Set up, you know, b- book an appointment. Like, you know, like you contact me and say, hey, when you come in town, I'll give you this much. Like, you know, to, to come sign some stuff. But if you want to be unprofessional, just get up all, all, all it, you know, invade everybody's space and have them sign a bunch of stuff that you're going to profit off of that nobody else is. It's like, don't, don't expect the same treatment as the professionals. Would that be a good way to? Yeah, that's you know, a good idea. Let me see this, Joe. It's like, yeah, so you want to go for sign one? Yeah. Like, wait, well, they, they, they post this like. They try to post this like Ray was the bad guy here. Right. One of those guys was a fraud. <laughs> was? One of those guys was a fraud anyway because he said something about how I was watching you in the eighties. Ray wasn't around till the mid nineties. Right, yeah. In, in states anyway. <laughs> we are fans. Do you love the way the guy said we are fans? Yeah. Maybe he was watching him surf in San Diego in the eighties. <laughs> oh Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!